is Sheldon Todd Rosevere. I have been cleaning windows in and around Seattle since 2001. And it started out as just me joining a friend. I realized that it was something I really wanted to do. I help people to feel good in the spaces that they're in and people feel a lighter sense of being a more relaxed sense of being when the windows are all cleaned. I also thought that it could be done completely green and that really attracted me to it. I did receive three recognitions from the city of Seattle, I received a Distinguished Business in the Green recognition. I received a Businesses for a Sustainable Tomorrow recognition, a Best Award. The previous recipients of the award I received were the Mariners Ball Club at Safeco Field and the Todd Shipyards in Everett. And I beat Paul Allen's Vulcan Investments in my category the year that I received that award. And I have gotten a four-star rating from the King County EnviroStars program that's part of their hazardous waste management program for not creating a toxic or hazardous waste stream and for disposing of the waste stream responsibly. People feel comfortable to approach me. Yeah, I always have a little bit of time in the day where some truth can be heard or spoken. There was a man who was from I want to think he's from New Jersey. He goes to make this emphatic point and he gets right up in my face with his hands like this, you know, and I was just like, wow, this guy's a little bit much. You know, he's kind of full on. And he caught it in the moment. And he said, wow, man, you're you're a real trusting guy. You're a really relaxed guy. Wow, you're really something. I, I got carried away. I'm sorry, brother. You know, you're like a, you're like a bivalve. You're like a bivalve. You know what that is? And I was like, you mean, like a clam or an oyster? He goes, yeah, exactly. You know, just let it all wash in, hold on to the good stuff, and just let the rest of it flow on out with the current. Yeah, right on, man, a bivalve window cleaner. And then he walked away. And I was like, wow, I just learned some deeper truth from that guy. It occurred to me that I think I've just been accused of being a clam, and I feel very complimented for it. Like there was some something really validating about that.